Right, good evening, driver. Train has just been driven into the siding for you to take over the further trip down to St Pancras. You have a couple of minutes before your scheduled departure time, so set up the cab and remember tail lights. So let's put that over to there and check the lights. Right, we have lights. We have a light in front of us. Right, coming into St. Albans. Cheers, Simon. I made the North Jersey coastline scenario for tonight. It says on the spreadsheet, I can't remember off the top of my head. Eight car stop is down the end here. What resolution do I stream at? So I play the game at 19, 20, 10, 80, and then I sh downstream it down at 1280, 720. So what's coming out to you is at 1280 by 720. And then all that extra bandwidth is used to get you uh, 60 frames a second, assuming my computer can actually muster 60 frames per second. Night BNSF, have I changed the FOV? Yeah, I've got the FOV 80 set up. <coughs> That's requested by a number of people. I, I do actually quite like it. You can see a bit more of the uh, of the train, and I can always just set it up like that to get sort of the original FOV. What's our plan for this one anyway? St Albans, Radlett, Elstree and Boreham Wood, Mill Hill Broadway, Hendon, Cricklewood, West Hampstead, Kentish Town and St Pancras. Due in in about half an hour. Is the train really going to Sutton? No, it's only going to St Pancras in this scenario. It's not false advertising because 2097, 2 Octo, uh, Oscar 97 is the St Albans to Sutton service if you look on the real timetable. It's just that this is a small bit of that service. 
Right. Nice, Mr. Trankow. So, 65 limit at the moment, going up to um, 80. Got a green light. Next station is Radlett, 4.6 miles. Ninety shortly. Oh, Gow just put in finishing touches to his new train spotting scenario. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to that. Right, see you later, Mole Man. Thanks for stopping by. Two point eight miles due in at bang on time. Oh, we're starting to gain time on the on the uh, ETA now. That's good. I've learned my lesson. If I go outside the cab on this one, then I'm going to uh, get hit by AWS as well. Right car, absolutely, why not do that? It should be easy enough. Want to make your steering wheel pedals into a DSD and then even the wheel into an auto tapper. Yep, absolutely. It's better if it's a G27, I presume, and where you've got no spring. Or you can turn the spring off at any rate. AWS doesn't affect this track. It does, because uh, I'm sure it does, because I have no nothing. I had nothing but trouble with it when I did the uh, the advanced preview for this one. I think I had about 18 emergency stops on that one. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I see. It was a troll. Yes. Okay, Stargate King. Uh huh. Noted. I haven't heard of the Driving Force GT. Who makes that one, ride car? Cheers, Steve. We're 20 seconds ahead of time, so I'm not too fussed about how slow I come in.
<laughs> oh, okay. Lower end version of the G27 with two pedals and a sequential shifter. Nice. Cameron's got the G27, but if I, whenever I use a wheel, I just use his old cast-off, cheap and nasty one. Right, Austrian Borenwood, 2.7 miles. Sequential shift, it could almost be an 87 and 687 tapping controller. Oh, that's not a bad idea. That'd be quite cool on something like this. Um, because um, you could use these grey buttons here for tap up, tap down. That would work quite well as well. Point seven miles, there's Elstree and Borenwood, fifteen seconds ahead of schedule. Mocky, put that away! Still got a 900 degree wheel, oh that's pretty impressive. Heading south while going up, that's because you're uh, on the West Coast Main Line or the East Coast Main Line heading towards London. Have I played Farming Simulator 2015? No, I've got the previous Farming Simulator. But I haven't got 2015, because I just don't play it that way. I didn't play the original one that much. It's quite good, I enjoyed it, but I just don't really have time for it. So I couldn't see the point in buying the other one. Careful, Moggy, or, or I'll, I'll put the rail driver away and I'll get the um, the throttle quadrant out and start driving trains with that. <laughs> Don't buy <laughs> 50. Why is that, Dave?
How long till I spared for installing? Next signal. What about, uh, Lord BT50, what about something like Waterstones, um, Waterstones or something like that, because lime um, dis uh, dissolves in water. Memory serves, anyway. What have we got? 2.2 .2 miles, Mill Hall Broadway. Yeah, Stargate King says, it really doesn't matter if Nebworth is coming up. It's not like we're stopping there. <laughs> there is no Nebworth on this route, folks. Don't worry. That's not to say that a station won't become the new Nebworth, but... Uh, Tyron 1, yeah, once I get stopped I'll show the outside view. Um, unfortunately this train's got AWS and stuff on it, so if I run on the outside view I'm just going to get lots of um, red uh, emergency stops potentially, so trying to avoid that. Look outside. Three shots, three one nine. Right, next station is Hendon, 2.3 miles. So we're basically running from St Albans into London St Pancras. We are still a few stops left to go yet. Hendon, Cricklewood, West Hampstead, Kentish Town and St Pancras. See you later, French Stalin.
So we've got a 60 limit coming up briefly. That would be the warning for it. Speed reduction, I guess. Right, get all the train into the uh, station. Station only just fits an eight car. One more scenario after this one, folks. North Jersey coastline. Cheers, Ed and Zay. Next station is Cricklewood. So your scenario is Amtrak Master. Excellent. Reduction to 75 coming up, so we just had a warning for that. Reduction in viewers is uh, no, is not unusual by this time, Amtrak Master. <coughs> not unusual at all. It doesn't peak out at 140. Some of the numbers like 145 for all that long. So yeah, normally by about 11, half past 11, it starts dropping quite quickly. Stables off then around 65, 70 until the stream finishes usually. <coughs> 
Garage is still here? Absolutely. As long as all the important people are still here, that's fine. Right. <clears throat> Didn't we usually get into the 200s? No, I think once or twice we might have skimmed into 200s, but no, we don't, we've never got into 200s on a uh, consistent basis. I do think we're a bit lower than we used to get to, but sort of it was seemed to be getting it seems to be getting around the sort of the 140, 150 most streams, and I'm sure it's not really got consistently much higher than that. I'm not that bothered to be honest. When the number sits at zero for an entire stream, I'll think about stopping. <laughs> West Hampstead Thameslink is next. Hey, Strat Shadow, welcome. What time is it here? It is quarter past midnight. For all the important people here, what am I doing here? Very good, Dave. <laughs> Unfortunately, I kind of have to be here. But Fringe, you're just here for the bear. West Hampstead Thameslink is just coming up. Oh hello, something went a bit wonky with the overhead. Like that bit. Single yellow. Clears us into West Hampstead, so I'm going to speed up a bit. We need to hire a robot to do this. <laughs> Why did you want to smash your monitor, Mr. Yo? Oh, your desk fell apart. Nice! Yeah, Strat Shadow, I'm not really sure what to do. I think, I mean, partly I think that the fact that I'm using a lower spec machine, maybe it makes it not quite so much fun to watch. I don't know. There's not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. Mr. Yo, we're always interested in hearing an interesting story. We've sold it as interesting now. It needs to make you need to make sure it's interesting. <laughs> Long stop at this station.
Obviously, Woody. Yes, absolutely, without a doubt. As long as everyone's enjoying the stream when they do turn up, that's good. Tea time. Another lemon, actually. No, just one tea bag will do fine, thank you. A five foot USB cable ran the adapter out into the middle of the room and the stream's now watch. <laughs> as long as you got it all sussed. Well the signal in front of us is green, that's a good sign. Right, Kentish Town. Two point two to Kentish Town and then I think the next stop is St Pancras and we're done and then we get on the North Jersey coastline. Seventy five limit here. cereal for dinner. Uh, I had uh, bacon, sausage, egg, chips, beans, bacon, sausage, egg, chips, beans. Yeah, that's it. Bacon, sausage, egg, chips, beans. Lovely. That's what it was. It was lovely. Got a uh, reduction to 50 coming up. Yeah, it's one one uh, one dinner. I I, I make I make great pains to make. I try and make it once a week. daughter's favourite dinner as well. She likes her eggs and bacon and chips. <laughs> She's not bothered about sausages. Doesn't like meat very much. Loco spotting scenario for Paddington in the steam area. Now that sounds interesting. <coughs> Bear's watching the stream, is he? Well, we, we, we were discussing earlier on, weren't we, about uh, the bear seemed like a train person or a train bear. Maybe it's Paddington and he's just lost his Mac. as in the overcoat, not the um, computers. Has anyone over here ever seen the film The, Inter the Internship? 
It's like a Google um, recruitment and propaganda movie. <laughs> Quite enjoyable, though, it has to be said. No, they don't have baked beans in the States. <laughs> right. St Pancras, Thameslink A, 1.3 miles, current speed limit is 30. Amtrak Master, yes, I went to see Star Wars over the, um, over the Christmas break. Very good, took my boy as well. I haven't seen the Dad's Army film, no. Meep, you're just weird. <laughs> right, descending into St Pancras now. I haven't seen Jurassic World. To be honest, I saw the first Jurassic Park film and I really wasn't that interested. We're almost down the hill now, coming into St Pancras. X-Men movies. Do you mean like that? What that? Is it future present or future past or something like that? The current X-Men movie. I enjoyed that one. I, saw, I can't remember. I think I saw that one on a plane uh, last time I went to America. If it's a newer one than that, then I haven't seen it. The new Star Trek films are okay, but what they're missing is a bit that the Roddenberry touch. I think they blow the Enterprise up or destroy it every episode, don't they? Well, let's see what score we get. Let's see what score we get. 
Cheers, Mr. Rob Hatch. Thanks for joining. Thousand points. Oh, yes. And we'll now hand over to the train for another driver. Nice. Sweet thousand points. Excellent. Right. Back to change room. Time for our last scenario. Remind myself what the last one is actually called. 